Okay, good morning, all you Tommies. Purple was your only color for today, okay? I'm Dan Meyer, Vice President for Enrollment Management, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to today's March Through the Arches ceremony. Now, before we begin this, I want to kind of give you a real brief highlight of the class of 2018 and new students. There are 1,665 new students. We're glad you're here, okay? Now, 1,414 of you are first year students, 26 are internationals, there are 251 transfers, and 11 international students. You guys were selected from a pool of almost 6,800 applications from 26 states and 41 foreign countries. 47% of you are male, 53% female. There you go. And 12% are students of color. Now, I always hate this part because you always talk about how this class has better academic credentials than last year's class. Well, you actually do, okay? Because you have the highest GPA at a 3.58 and you have the highest ACT average at a 26.3. So you guys have exceptional academic qualifications. But I wanted to dig a little bit further, and so here's some interesting numbers for the class of 2018 and new transfers. There are 36 of you that scored a perfect 36 on portions of your ACT, not all of it, but on portions of your ACT. 29 of you were selected as class valedictorians. There are 15 salutatorians, and nine of you are national merit finalists. But probably the most interesting fact is when classes begin tomorrow, St. Thomas faculty will be most impressed that this group includes 203 students who never received a grade below A- minus in their high school career. We hope that trend continues over the next four years. So, it's my pleasure now to welcome, I turn this over to Student Government President Ryan Smith for his comments. Thank you. Good morning. Before I begin, I'd like to share a little bit about myself. As Dan said, my name is Ryan Smith. I'm a senior chemistry major and a psychology minor. I'm also a member of the swim team. And this year, it's my distinct honor to serve you as undergraduate student body president. Just three years ago, I stood where you are today. I was both nervous and excited to get my college career underway. However, at that time, my life revolved around swimming. It was comfortable and familiar to me. But within my first year at St. Thomas, I quickly realized the importance of stepping outside of my comfort zone. When I did, I spoke up in class, made new friends, and joined some clubs. I'm still on the swim team today, and they are of incredible importance to me, but expanding my involvement has shaped my college experience. When you walk through these arches, you have made a profound decision. You'll be joining an amazing community I truly believe that there is no better school than the University of St. Thomas, and you will quickly find that its excellent academics are rivaled only by the strong sense of family that this university has to offer. As students, we are not in this alone. The staff, faculty, administration, student leaders, and friends will provide guidance every step of the way. These next four years will be some of the greatest of your life. The classes you take, the student jobs you hold, and the people you meet will shape who you will become. Do not shy away from hard work. Trust me, it is worth it. Your professors will notice, and so will your peers. There are countless doors waiting to be opened, and you just have to take the initiative to open them. College is an investment in your future, and the more work you put into it, the brighter your future will become. There will be highs and lows, but that is what makes this journey so incredible. You will make lifelong friends, discover your passion, 
and learn what true dedication is. So on behalf of the undergraduate student body, welcome to St. Thomas. It's now my honor to introduce the president of the university, Dr. Julie Sullivan. Thank you, Ryan. We're so proud to have you as the leader of our undergraduate student government. So good morning. When you walk through the arches of St. Thomas as new students this morning, you will become part of an academic community that Archbishop John Ireland founded in 1885. You will join a rich learning tradition that spans centuries. And for some of you, a tradition that has been experienced by multiple generations of your family. You will become a part of a learning community community that will support you and will challenge you. A community that expects its members to embrace its values and contribute to advancing the common good. A community that is rooted in our Catholic intellectual heritage and in all things holds itself to the highest standards of excellence. Welcome to the St. Thomas family. You will now call yourself a Tommy for the rest of of your lives. So go Tommies and it's time to walk through the arches. Good morning, everyone! Woo! Hello, students, staff, faculty, and members of the platform party. Welcome to the 2014 Interfaith Blessing, which officially launches the new academic year. I'm Jane Canney. Can you hear me? I'm Vice President for Student Affairs, and I am delighted and honored to greet all of you new students to the University of St. Thomas. But first, it's my pleasure to introduce the other members of the platform party. And they are to your left, Dr. Julie Sullivan, President. <laughs> Dr. Richard Plum, Executive Vice President and Provost, a new Tommy. <laughs> Father Eric Rutten, Director of Campus Ministry. Ms. 
Linda Hulbert, retired St. Thomas librarian. Woo! Mr. Samba Jing, Assistant Director, International Student Services. And Dr. Carol Brees, Professor, Communications and Journalism. Well, how are you students doing? Well, I have to tell you, you're looking pretty good. On my way to the campus today, I saw a lot of families having that first day of school picture taken. So what I'd like to do is get a selfie with all of you. Can we do that? So students, you're finally here on campus for fall 2014. It's been such a pleasure to meet so many of you over the last few months. Please know that the people who are clapping and cheering for you were, as you march through the arches, were faculty and staff from throughout the campus, but also students and children from the Child Development Center who are all thrilled that you've made this great decision and you've chosen the University of St. Thomas as your new family. So students, many of these people are gonna be with you throughout your entire career as you explore your big dreams for the future. Students, some of you, as you heard, some of you are first year students, others are transfer students, some of you are international students, some of you have already served our country in the armed forces. You may be living on campus, living in the neighborhood, or commuting from home. So as noted earlier, there's many interesting facts about you as a class. But right now, the common thread is that you've chosen the University of St. Thomas for fall 2014. So when you walk through the arches this morning, you joined a family that's over 125 years old. We don't look that old, do we? But over 125 years. So I've got some tips that I want to share with you for your success. And they are live, connect, succeed. Each of you are bringing your own history and culture, which are gifts to the St. Thomas family. I'd like you to challenge yourself over these next years as you move through to graduation to step out of your existence, to step out of your box, to live while you are here. Take some risks and do some things which are different. Connect with others who are different than you and share your history and culture which are with each other. Connect with your new family, connect with your faculty, connect with other friends. There will be many wonderful learning opportunities in your classes and beyond to make these connections. You could join one of our over 130 different clubs or organizations. You can participate in community service. And don't forget, you can just come over and relax in the Anderson Student Center. But you now are a Tommy for life. As Dr. Sullivan said, you are a Tommy. This means that you are going to have the benefit of connecting with many new people from various backgrounds who have different stories and interests to share. Getting connected will make you feel at home and lead to your success at St. Thomas and beyond. The platform for your success can be based on the connections you make right here. So today, what I'd like you to do is tweet to me one action that you're going to take to get connected here at St. Thomas at Jane Canney. Let me know what it is, and I promise I'll respond. So I used to give out my phone number. <clears throat> so you're going to wonder, OK, what's next? After this event, 24 hours before classes start, pull out your uh, Tommy welcome and make sure to find out all the other wonderful things that are going on. We've got a wonderful interfaith blessing right now. 
and at this point, I'd like to reintroduce Dr. Richard Plum, who is also a new Tommy. So let's give him a warm Tommy welcome. Woo! Thank you, Jane. Welcome to the start of the new academic year. The mission of the University of St. Thomas is to educate students to be morally responsible leaders who think critically, act wisely, work skillfully to advance the common good. Woven into the fabric of our mission is a commitment and dedication to the education of the whole person, which is rooted in the Catholic intellectual tradition. But what does education of the whole person entail? And how should you think about this during your time at St. Thomas? We understand the education of the whole person is a simultaneous process of information, formation, and transformation. It encourages personal integration of thinking, feeling, choosing, evolving self. It does this by fostering not only academic and professional development, but also physical, social, psychological, moral, cultural, and spiritual growth. Think of this as integration of the development of your body, mind, and spirit. Education of the whole person promotes the formation of character and values, meaning and purpose. As you learn to read what is going on in your own lives, in the larger world, you are encouraged to grow in the skills of personal and social literacy needed to be responsible citizens. At St. Thomas, we encourage students, faculty, and staff to identify with those living on the margins of society so that the intellectual inquiry and moral reflection that occurs on campus will lead to meaningful work for a transformative social change. Finally, no matter what you study, at St. Thomas, I encourage you to take time to answer three fundamental questions. First, who am I? Second, what is my relationship to God? And finally, what is my relationship to others? Only you can answer these questions. My advice is to study hard, make new friends, seek help, advice, and guidance, take advantage of the opportunities at St. Thomas, and enjoy being a Tommy. I'd now like to call upon Father Eric, Director of Campus Ministry, for his reflections on spiritual life. This is awesome, and I really I love this moment each year, and it's, it's really a great moment for us all, so thank you. And uh, I really am excited to start this new year with you all. In campus ministry, uh, sometimes it's kind of vague. What do they do? Who are they for? What's that all about? So we describe ourselves under three pillars, faith, social justice, and community. This year in campus ministry, we have decided to focus on the issue of community to build together a sense that we are part of something bigger than ourselves here at St. Thomas. We are indeed a Catholic university, but it's precisely because we are Catholic that our inspiration comes that we are committed to all members of the community, that all are respected, welcome, safe. This really is what Jesus would do. As Dr. Plum said, as a human person, we are made up of mind, body, and spirit. All of these dimensions are important to us. And in campus ministry, we have the opportunity and the joy of, of particularly attending to the spiritual side of ourselves. I promise you that mind, body, and spirit all influence each other. And so I encourage you to be intentional about that component. We come from lots of places in our spiritual life. But I, I really do believe that we all have a faith of some kind, a worldview, a way of relating, and it's, pre again, precisely because we're Catholic that we strive to engage one another in this dimension of our lives, how we make sense of the world and how we move forward together. I encourage you to be intentional about sharing yourselves with one another 
as Dr. Canny had said. Share yourselves with one another. Share your stories. Share where you're coming from. I invite us also to look for opportunities to worship together. In just a moment, we're going to take a moment of silence, and we're going to listen as, as uh, three different individuals lift up their own prayer from their own tradition to God as they understand God. This is a profound moment for us. I suspect that uh, those from the Abrahamic traditions can all agree that God is God and we are not. So as we begin this new year to ask for God's help and assistance, we also have opportunities for both uh, beyond interfaith, we also have opportunities for Christian worship and Catholic worship on campus. We also have clubs and orgs, so coming from you, coming from the students, opportunities to worship in various kinds of settings. I call to your attention also the importance of taking time away, a time of retreat, a time to take stock. I'm sure these first couple weeks will be a whirlwind for you. Uh, we have a freshman retreat. It's an opportunity to step away and to ask yourself the three questions that Dr. Plum had mentioned. Who am I? What is my relationship to God? What is my relationship to others? Very, very important questions. I also invite you and encourage you and challenge you to be involved in service of some kind, either through campus ministry or through many opportunities on campus, service learning opportunities and so forth, to reach out in the world. Help us. Help us build community here at the University of St. Thomas this year. I invite you to join with campus ministry in this journey, but it is indeed a journey for all of us. So I invite you to join us. Thank you. Now I invite us to take a moment of silence. I think, um, to just call to mind this moment, this day, and how special this is, and prepare ourselves as we uh, are about to hear from various religious and spiritual traditions. To uh, President Sullivan, Provost Plum, Vice President Caney, Class of 2018, and fellow colleagues, the following excerpt stems from a chapter in the Quran called Yasin. It is also known as the heart of the Quran, and we all know how important heart is to anything. <coughs> Inni izalla fi dalalim mubin Inni amantu bi rabbikum fasmaun Hilad hulil janna Hala ya layta haumi yahlamuna Bima hafara li rabbi Wa ja'alani minal mukramin Wa ma anzalna ala haumihi Min bahdihi min jundim minas samaa من جند من السماء وما كنا منزلين إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم حامدون يا حسرة على الإباد ما يتيهم من رسول إلا كانوا به يستهزئون ألم يروا كم أهلكنا قبلهم من القرون أنهم إليهم لا يرجعون وإن كل لما جميع لدينا مهدرون وآيات لهم الأرض الميتة أهيناها أهيناها وأهرجنا منها هبا فمنه يأكلون وجعلنا فيها جنات من نهيل وأهناب وفجرنا فيها من الأيون ليكلوا من سمره وما أملت أيديهم أفلا يشكرون 
سبحان الذي خلق الأزواج كلها مما تنبت الأرض ومن أنفسهم ومن أنفسهم ومما لا يحلمون وآيات لهم الليل نسله منه نهار فإذا هم مسلمون وشمس تجري لمستخر لها ذلك تقدير العزيز الأليم والخمر هدرناه منازل حتى عاد كالأرجون القديم للشمس ينبهي لها أن تدرق الخمر ولا الليل سابق النهار وكل في فلك يسبهون Thank you very much. God, God bless St. Thomas. Welcome to the University of St. Thomas. I have chosen to chant the first parasha portion of the Jewish Bible from Genesis, Breshit 1, lines 1 through 5. It is beginning of the school year the beginning of a new journey for you. And we wish you the spirit of wisdom and understanding, of insight and knowledge, inquiry and reverence. Amen. Bereshit bara Elohim, et ha-shamayim v'et ha-aretz. V'ha-aretz. Hayeta tohu, vavohu, vachoshech al pane tohom. Veruach Elohim, merachehefet al pane hamahim. Vayomer Elohim, yehior, vayior. Vayar Elohim, et haor ki tov. Vayavdeel Elohim, Bain ha or Uvain ha choshech. Vaikra Elohim. La or Yahom. Vila choshe kara laila. Vaihi erev. Vaihi voker. Yahom echad. Welcome, Tommies, one and all. I've been looking at you for the last 15 minutes, and Dr. Canny was right. You are a handsome group. More and better looking than I've ever seen in this arena. I know. Oh. The following is a reading from the letter to the Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Jesus Christ. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. Amen. I would like to conclude our readings of scripture by leading us in a prayer of blessing for our new year. Let us pray for patience, perseverance, and eagerness. Eternal God, creator of the universe, your wisdom fills the earth, and we learn your ways. Look upon these students, bless them, 
and help them enjoy their learning and take delight in new discoveries. Help them to persevere in their studies and give them the desire, the desire to learn all things well. Bless these faculty, staff, and administrators. Let them strive to share their knowledge with gentle patience and understanding, and endeavor always to bring the truth to eager minds. May God bless you with peace. May God uphold you with grace. And may God send you into the world as cultivators of change and messengers of hope. Amen.